What's up, y'all? And welcome to a new episode of Cortez Mac TV. Hit that subscribe button below, boom, boom, so that you can get all of my content when it drops. Make sure that you follow me on Instagram as well at Cortez Mac TV. And let's get into the news, y'all. I don't want to wait that long. Britney Spears is in the news again, y'all. That crazy video with her singing. <laughs> I still don't know what to make of that, but I want to talk about the fact that her and her sister are beefing in public. It's never a good look for siblings to fight, and it's especially not a good look for them to fight in public. But that's what Britney and her sister Jamie Lynn are doing. So Jamie Lynn appeared on Good Morning America this week and talked about the fact that Britney's behavior over the years was unpredictable, at times she was spiraling, so on and so forth. Jamie has a memoir coming out, and Britney is a little pressed because she feels like, why are you speaking on my name? Why are you putting this stuff out there? Why are you using me for clout? I don't really have a dog in this fight. That's an old people saying that I have a dog in the fight. I mean, I ain't really got nothing to do with it. I mean, I'm kind of biased towards Britney because that's who I grew up with. Jamie, shout out to you. Zoe 101 was the show for the kids back in the day. But you got to get right with your sister. She just got her freedom. She just got liberated in the conservatorship. The world is rooting for Britney, so... I mean, get with the winning team, make amends with your big sister and fix this. Cause it's like I said, that's bad for the Spears family to be beefing out in public more than they already have. We already see Britney issues with her dad play out over, you know, her money. Jamie Lynn even said like, I ain't had access to her money over the years. I didn't do nothing. I was a good sister. I was trying to stick by her side and stick beside her. We gonna see how it plays out, but I'm gonna just send prayers up for the Spirits family, Brittany and Jamie Lynn in particular. They at one point were really close and I would love to see them get back there. Y'all fix it. I also want Tiffany Haddish to get it together. She allegedly, I'm so sad y'all because I live in Georgia and for Tiffany Haddish to get a DUI in Georgia, I just know how strict this state is. And so she got pulled over in Peachtree City. For those that don't know, that's Fayette County, Georgia where they really, really don't play. She got pulled over because a car, a driver reported that they saw her falling asleep at the wheel. And a car, police pulled her over once they found the car that matched the description of the driver who tipped them off. Marijuana odor in the car, she gets a DUI. So with this, I wanna say, you know, she's set up for a, for a comeback already. A DUI is not the be all end all. Plenty of celebrities got DUIs, and I know that she'll bounce back from it, but I just feel like Tiffany's having a tough time right now with the breakup with Common, the death of Bob Saget, who she really, really loved. I wanna send her some positive energy because we see stuff happen all the time with these celebrities getting the scandal after scandal like Tiger Woods. Instead of talking about them, we need to send a prayer up and just hope that they fix these issues that they have because we don't know what the next step could be if they don't get help. So Tiffany, we are praying for you. I hope that you fix this situation and that you get the help that you need. And finally this week, I gotta talk about Neo. So Neo gave an interview to Page Six and they asked him about the state of R&B right now. And he gave a quote that I'm gonna be honest, I totally agree with. He basically said that, cause I don't remember the quote word for word, but I'm gonna tell you in so many words. He basically said that R&B now is a lot more harsh than it used to be in that love songs don't really have that much love in them no more and that, you know, I love you and you're my baby has become you my bitch and you know, all of this, all this type of stuff that the music is not romantic like it used to be. I agree with him. And he said that now R&B music kind of has people in this mindset and that society has this mindset now. Like, I love you if you have enough money in the bank account. I love you if your booty is this big. Your booty is this big. So I feel like Neo is absolutely right and I want him to come back out with some real love music. I need the artists who can set the mood, set the vibe to give us something because a lot of the music now is just sad and disrespectful. Ooh, I sound so old. It's some really great artists out now, but in a general sense, like there's not really people that's making that love making music no more. That's why people are going back to the throwbacks from the 90s and the 2000s when they really want to get that romantic vibe. So Neo, come back out and save us. What are some other people that do some good romantic music when they set the vibe? Um, Damn, who y'all think? I know Kaylani's good, Janae, they set the mood. But in terms of the guys, I mean, we really need somebody to come up and, and step up and give us that romantic, that sexy, sexy vibe that Neo and Usher used to provide for us. So where you at? Bring it to us, Brent. 
Come on, um, somebody can do it. Somebody can do it. Maybe I'll drop a single and make y'all want to um, hit the bed and knock the boots. <laughs> That's the news for this week. I want y'all to stay tuned for my interview with Diva up next. She is, when I tell you, this is an entrepreneur, a boss, a bit, a, like a billionaire in the making. I can't say enough good things about her. I want you to tune in right now because the interview is up next. I done talked her up and here she is. I'm here with Miss Diva for the brand new interview, Five Questions with Your Girl. You ready? I'm ready. All right, let's get it. So first up, you have a dope brand, a lifestyle brand, clothing, everything. Let's talk about Boss Maven. What's the what's the origin behind Boss Maven? How'd you come up with it? So I came up with Boss Maven last year and the whole purpose of it was a boss and a maven. So it's like two different type of people coming together. Somebody who is a connoisseur and then also someone who could duplicate themselves. Yes. So, and it's a lifestyle. So that was my whole purpose of it because it's, I can, people can kind of channel my lifestyle. And, you know, I have products such as like, you know, comfortable hoodies. I have customized candles. I have some burning, you know, sage, customized sage. So everything that's a part of my lifestyle I wanted to share with the world and, you know, just be, be more relatable because I see a lot of people tapping into their mm -hmm. inner being. So they're burning sage, they're, you know, just putting on, just putting on their joggers and just going out the door. Like right. it's, it's about you. So it's like whatever you wear, you set the tone for everything. Mm -hmm. So yeah, just yeah, boss me then, a lifestyle, and then I have yeah. young bosses. So I'll have a mentoring program. I will be mentoring ages ten to fifteen. They need so that. So I want to be able to just help build their self confidence. You know, nowadays they have a bunch of people that they look up to, mm -hmm. and I may not agree with those people. So if That's I want true. if I want to make a change, I gotta put myself out there to teach them, and mm -hmm. teach them about hygiene and things like that. So. Look forward to Young Bosses coming soon. Hey, Young Bosses, we love it. Two Young Bosses right here. I want to ask you about something that you just said. You talked about self-confidence and teaching that. Where do you draw your confidence from? I think that, you know, that's an ongoing thing for people with the way that the world is. Daily, you got to pull it from different places. Where do you draw from? My spiritual connection. Mm. So I tap into that a lot. I believe in God. Um, and most importantly, I meditate. You know, so um, I love God. You love God? What's wrong with you? <laughs> hey. So I tap into my spiritual being always. I'm always meditating. I read a lot. And, you know, I'm just, I'm, I, I've been through so much. So I had to figure out who Diva was. Mm -hmm. You know, I had to know that I put me first. I love my husband. I love my kids. I love my mother. But guess who I had to love first? Me. So that's the most important thing I would say, um, just tapping into my spiritual being and being in tune with, with myself. When did you learn to love yourself first? That's hard. For a given Ooh. person with the heart that I know you have, Ooh. when did you learn to love yourself first? I might still not know how to do that. Oh my goodness. When you go through life trials and tribulations and you know, people try to knock you down. They try to put dirt on your name. You know, so you. Praying your downfall. Yeah. So I, I would say probably like as a teenager, I was probably like maybe 17, 18. And this is after I had my son. So I had to love him, but I had to figure out how to love me first. Cause I couldn't be the best mm -hmm. mom to him until I had to be the best to me. Mm -hmm. So I don't say self, I don't think it's, you know, being selfish, I think it's selfish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh. So, yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Come on with the new word for him. Yeah, so that, I would say as a teenager, I learned. So I set the tone at a young age on what I wanted. And as an adult, that's, that's why I'm in the position I'm in now, because I put it out there. I put it in the universe. Come on, man. <laughs> I love that. So we talked about, you know, Boss Maven and where it comes from. Where do you see it going? Where do you see it going in 2022 and beyond? Oh my goodness, it's crazy to say that. I just, I see it being huge. Like I see it being all over the place in mentorship programs. I see the brand, you know, being built. Uh, I see the podcast being built. All of that's under Boss Maven. So I would say like, just 
it going to another level. This this is my year to take everything to another level. Everything I'm doing, I'm going to another level. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. Level up. You talked about the podcast. We got to get on the podcast game because, you know, one content created to another. Mm -hmm. I'm rooting for you. And the people need to know about your content. So talk. Come on, sis. Woo! Tell them. Hey, speak your mind, sis. So that's my podcast. I created it last year, 2021. I'm revamping it this year. So it's really a, a platform that you can... I interview, I, you know, it was originally for entrepreneur women, but now it's it's for everybody. Hey, so I can be on there. Yep, you I'm going to jump on that bit. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, just a, it's a platform for, you know, people to come be transparent, talk about their business, what they're doing. We can talk about different topics, marriage, relationships, friendships, everything. So it's speak your mind. Like, we're not holding back. We're going to mm. say what's on our mind. We got to. I feel yeah. like transparency is the name of the game and giving people a safe space to really come and like you said, speak your mind. Yeah. Speak um, your mind. I'm down for that. When can we expect some new content from uh, Speak Your Mind Sis? So tune in, Speak Your Mind Sis podcast. You can follow me on Instagram, of course. And our first recording will be on January 30th. January 30th. That's the end of this month. We ain't got yes. much time. You ready? I am ready. Mm -hmm. Say you ready. We ready. We ready. We ready. <laughs> So look, last question before we get into game time. Mm -hmm. I want to talk to you about making everything fit. Because not only do you have the podcast, not only are you juggling the brand and developing Boss Megan with all the different products that you have, mm -hmm. and then you got fitness going on, yes. you a mom, a wife. Let's talk about Boss Fit and how you make all of these things fit. Ooh, that's a good question. You know, as, as women, we wear a lot of hats. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like this one. Yeah, I see. I Come uh, on, double C's. Yeah. Okay. So with that, I that's why I said I tapped into myself. So I have to be in good shape, good mm -hmm. health. So the boss fit is my training. So I train on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursday, and I do boot camp. So I'm healthy. In the morning evening. time, and the, you do morning or evening? I do evening, 6 p.m. Oh, that's even harder. After people done went to work all day, yeah. to come work out and give 110% yeah. in the gym. Yes, so we're going we're gonna to start doing um, booty band workouts. So mm -hmm. it's going to be getting, your, getting that butt right. Because we don't have, everybody can't afford to have surgery. So guess what? We're going to teach you how to do it the right way. You're going to do it the I healthy way. Yeah, but you can get that butt right. <laughs> so we're working on glutes and we're also working on abs. Just full body, you know, total fit. So Total fit. Yes, so that's that's what the boss fit. But to answer your question, um, I just pretty much eat healthy. You know, like I said, I'm in my spiritual being, my husband is very supportive. Uh, I have an older son. He's 17. He's actually graduating this year. Woo! <laughs> Class of 22, put them dubs yes. up. So, you know, everybody is, is such a big help. Like, mm -hmm. we, it takes a village. So, um, they're, they're very supportive. My, my daughter, she's uh, 12 years old, so she's very supportive. So, I would just say having a great support system. Everything you do, you need a team. And you need people that are solid and they want to see you win. Mm. So that's that's my biggest thing is having my, my family on one accord with me. So it, it takes the load off me. So I know I cook dinner at a certain time. We you know we have game night, so I make sure I have a balance. They be lit. I see yeah, it on social media. Be, be yeah. So you know I have a balance of it. Well we can have our family time, I still can work out, mm -hmm. I still can go have margaritas with you. Come on. So you know Fran be ready. Yeah, <laughs> I stay ready. <laughs> That's it. I'm I'm so inspired by you, and I Thank hope you. that you know that because since I met you, you just been somebody who you all about your business, you all about your grind, your hustle, but you spread oh, love. Man. You make time for the people that you care about, yes. and so that's life. Like you're living right. Thank you. And I just wanna like you, somebody I aspire to be. So I hope that you know that, and I Thank want you, you to continue doing what you're doing, y'all. Look, support your friends. This is what friendship look like, and this is what support look like. So, if you got a friend with a platform or a friend that's doing something, put them on your shit because yes. it don't hurt nothing, it don't cost nothing. And when you win, they win. When they win, you win. Get to the top together, shout each other out, and look at these folks. Man, I'm, I can't even say enough. I feel like I'm preaching right now. You come on, I mean, but, but come on, friend, you, you gotta say that because it is about your group like jay-z said that mm -hmm. like hey if you're the only person in, in, in the room that's winning you in the wrong room or you exactly. just you ain't doing nothing for real exactly everybody want to come to the, you know you want to bring your people with you some mm -hmm. people gonna fall off but guess what the ones that's built for it gonna be there 
Yes, when it's all true. said and done. Yep. And so I appreciate that about you. You always put out opportunities to people and I feel like you're gonna be blessed with that. So yes, I appreciate you saying that. Keep you. doing what you're doing. We put it out into the air. Yes. We're gonna wrap up with a game. You ready? I'm ready. All right, we're gonna play One Gotta Go. You did great on this interview, by the way. Thank you, Brian. I hope you know that. So One Gotta Go, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give you four people in the category. You just gotta get rid of one. Okay. You ready? I'm ready. So since we talking boss maven type stuff today, okay. we gonna, I'm gonna give you four bosses from the industry. Okay. All right, and mm -hmm. you gotta tell me which one gonna go. Right. We got Rihanna, Woo. Music Catalog, uh, Savage, Fenty, Fenty Beauty. You know she coined up. She ain't never got to make another album if she don't want to. Right, she right? had it. She had we it. got Rihanna. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give you Jay-Z. Oh, my God. You know, <laughs> Tidal, The Rock, <laughs> Beyonce, The Family. <laughs> and they probably just make money just for being who Blue they are. Blue Ivy. Blue <laughs> Ivy. I got money because I'm Blue Ivy dad. Like, right. That's two. Okay. I'm going to give you Diddy. Ciroc, bad boy, everything else he get. No, he got some cigars or something. Diddy just got money just to yeah. have it. That's three. All right, number four. I'm going to give you Beyonce herself. Oh now, look, God. I made it hard. You ain't think I was going to put her on that because I gave you Jay-Z. But look, I got two men, two women. We real inclusive on Cortez Mac TV. Beyonce, you know she got Ivy Park. Um, House of Darion, I don't know if that's still a thing. But how you put husband and wife in a category? One got to go. <laughs> One gotta go. Who you getting rid of? Rihanna, Jay Z, Diddy, or B? <laughs> if you say Beyonce. <laughs> oh my God, do not have a Beyonce come for me. <laughs> they gonna put Ooh. B's in your comments every video. Uh, who am I getting rid of? Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of Diddy. <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Why Diddy? <laughs> I, I, because, first of all, let me tell you a little backstory real quick. So uh -oh. Rihanna is, that was like my alter ego back in the day. I okay. thought I was bad girl diva. So. <laughs> bad girl. Yeah, yes, bad girl, right? So I would say, only reason why I say that, cause I'm like, okay, Diddy, that's, that's Diddy. It's Diddy. But Beyonce and Jay, you, you just came. I don't even know why you even did this, honestly. <laughs> I even put a husband and wife in the category. Why wasn't it like A, B, C, D, and then. Nope. All of the above. <laughs> Made that stuff hard. Yeah. Look, that I'm was sorry, a, Diddy. I no, would get rid of Diddy too. You would get rid of Diddy? I feel like because Rihanna has done so much to like build her brand to the point that now she's doing what she want to do. Exactly. And that's what we all but want. But that's the goal. That's why I said because in, like you say, I inspire you, inspire me. Like Rihanna, you gotta think she started doing the music. She went through certain things, mm -hmm. and now it's like she's doing something she loved. Why am I gonna go sing something mm -hmm. when I can literally brand? Mm -hmm. You know, this this is something that we need. We yeah. need good lingerie and good perfume. I got and some savage skincare. skincare. Like what? Yeah. You use it? No, not the skincare. I got. So she got men's um like oh, not lingerie, sexy. but you know, uh -huh. homewear, loungewear. Yeah. You know, I got a nice roll and some pants that. You know, Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Rihanna Brand is a lifestyle. Yeah, this is literally your lifestyle. You want to get up and get comfortable. Your skin, the skin is important. So hey. I love it. She got all her bases covered, just like Boss Maven got all the bases covered with the home care, the home wear, all of that. So where can the people find Boss Maven? Where can they find you? So they can find me. You guys can follow me on Instagram, One Diva Allen, and Diva with an E. D E V A. Allen, do it number one. And Speak Your Mind Sis podcast is Speak Your Mind Sis underscore pod. And Boss Maven is Boss underscore Maven on Instagram. Boss, B A W S E Maven, M A V E N on Instagram. And also, you can follow me on Twitter. You can follow me on Facebook. Boss Maven on Facebook. Like and share. Also, speak on my sister's podcast. You can like and share that on Facebook as well. Stay tuned January 30th for the new podcast episode. Go follow her now for follow everything me. that she's doing. Yes. Come take a class with her if you're in the Atlanta area. That boot camp is popping. Your Total booty going to be popping. Total fit. You already know. Eagles Landing. See you there Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays at 6 p.m. Come get that booty right. Yeah. Come get that booty right. <laughs> get that life right and get you some boss maybe, y'all. Shout out to Miss Deepa for joining me today. Thank That's you. our time. Y'all stay tuned for Who Won the Week is up next. <laughs> Y'all made it through another episode. Thank you. If you have not subscribed, the button is still right where it was before at the beginning of this episode. Hit that. Stop playing with me. 
And let's go away. Let's go. Ugh. Can I get my damn words out? All right. Let's give away who won the week. And this week, we giving it to whoever the hell is in charge of pricing at Netflix because them prices went up and they finna get paid and we finna be broke because y'all and me included, we finna still keep paying this money. So the prices have gone up on Netflix plans again. Every few years, I feel like they just rise higher and higher to the point that one day we're gonna be paying the same thing we would pay for regular cable to have Netflix. So if you have a basic plan, it went up a dollar to $9.99. The standard plan went up to $15.49. And if you like me and you like that top notch shit, I got that premium plan. It's going up to $19.99. So I'm paying $20 a month for Netflix. Over the course of a year, that's a lot of money that I don't, I'm not good at math, but that's more than I really, really wanna spend on Netflix. So I want y'all to think, like, is it worth it? I gave them this Who Won the Week, but I'm really sitting here thinking like between Netflix, Hulu, HBO Max, that's that's a lot. Damn, maybe they didn't win this week. Well, they won, but we lost. <laughs> I want y'all to tune in next week for another episode. Next week, I'm chopping it up with my homie, be cooking in his kitchen. He whipping it up. It's good. The food is good. I'm telling you now. It's going to be a great episode. We coming back with some more news, some more interviews, some more heat, some more flavor. I'm running out of words. I love y'all. Thank you and tune in next week. It's Cortez Mag TV. Let's go.